I'm here at Roland's Barbecue with Allison Vickers, who's going to talk to us about their process for reopening the restaurant. So what are your thoughts on restaurant openings just in general? Are you confident that the guidelines will keep both the employees and guests safe when seated dining resumes? I'm hoping it does. I mean, we have in here already put our tables six feet apart. Um, so I've gotten rid of a lot of tables. Um, we've also been talking about um, only doing a to-go takeout type thing, even when you are able to, to dine in. Okay. We have not decided yet. Mm -hmm. um, it's really up to the owner, but um, that we are speaking, we are talking about that. Okay. So do you guys have any idea on when the restaurant might be fully open for seated dining? Um, we don't. I mean, the, you know, they say they're going to look at it again on May 22nd, which mm -hmm. is Friday, right? But um, by the sounds of it, from what I understand, um, it's not going to, they're not going to be quite ready okay. to reopen. And so do you guys have any idea on how you're going to ensure employee and guest safety once seated dining does resume? I know you said you've got the tables far apart. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, well, we will only have a certain number of people that we allow in here. It's per square foot. Um, if we do decide to reopen and let people sit, um, I'm pretty sure we will, but it's not 100% yet. Um, you know, Roland's bef before we moved into this building, it was over um, on Craven Street mm -hmm. and they never had seating inside. It was just a takeout mm -hmm. place. Um, so we're thinking about that, but there's just a lot of things that, you know, mm -hmm. that, that we're thinking about. We yeah, just, we don't know. All of my employees are in masks, gloves. They have, we have been since the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, that will stay. You, um, the owner also asks that everyone that walks in here has to have a mask on. If you don't have one, we will provide you with one. Okay. And there's hand sanitizing stations when you walk in the door um, to come and pick up your food. Um, and that's, we fill that up every day or whenever needed. Okay? Great, yeah. So obviously it's operating at a lower capacity, both with employees and guests. Are you guys ensuring that your employees, I'm sure the hours are being cut back. Are you guys finding a way to make it so that employees aren't losing too much money in their paychecks? Um, I did have to lay off two employees mm -hmm. when this first happened. It just so happened that when this, when the COVID, you know, started and the mm -hmm. restrictions started, we had not hired for summer yet. Okay. So we were still on our winter time mm -hmm. um, staff amount, I guess you could say, and um, only had to let two on okay. unemployment. They are now back. Okay. Great. Okay. We have enough right now. We have enough business to bring them back. Okay. They have been back for two weeks now. Good. That's good to hear. Have you put any thought into how you might test people if they come in or just like not let people in who seem sick or? Um, now I do, another thing I do with my employees every single day is I take, take their temperature. Okay. I've also been doing that, I forgot to tell you that before, but I also have been doing that since the beginning. Um, I was very lucky in getting a ear thermometer mm -hmm before everybody else did. Uh, yeah. um, so I do take their temperature every day for, um, I don't know how, how exactly we could regulate the customers mm -hmm. um, being sick or not. I mean, of course I've put, I've put signs everywhere. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed in here without a mask, yeah. you know, all those kind of things. Um, not that everybody reads those, mm -hmm. but um, I guess, you know, I'd have to put something else saying if you feel sick. Yeah. I've seen those a lot of places, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but I don't know that that would stop them. Yeah, so. just have to hope that people will be trustworthy. Right, and if they're yeah. sick, not come. Yeah, of course. Yes. Um, so lastly, do you believe that the coronavirus pandemic will affect how restaurants over operate permanently? Yes, I really do. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of feel like this is not just going to go away. Mm -hmm. um, that our new normal is going to be it's not, you know, it's going to be a new normal, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that we'll ever get back to the way it used to be. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. But I could be completely wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm just, yeah. you know. But yeah, well, things will be done yeah. differently mm -hmm. for sure. I've heard lots of people saying that it might it might be this way for a while. And I've been doing this for 25 years. So, mm -hmm. you know, this is the first time I've seen it. And I think that it's probably going to 
stay around. I mean, I, I, looking at the numbers, I just I just looked at the numbers that went yesterday, and every day in North Carolina, we're getting five and six hundred more cases. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't I don't see this going away anytime yeah. soon. Sadly not. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Sure. Um, I'm Kimmy Valentine with the Carteret News Times. Thank you.